thank you for having me. Um, I'm Julia Marks, and I teach the Dancing for Parkinson's class. I'm going to dive right into giving you a taste of what it's like to be in the class. And this is the warm-up that we do at the beginning of every class. So it's done in a chair, and it's based on yoga movements. So it's some dance that's drawing inspiration from yoga. And if you can just shift your chairs enough so that when you're seated in your chair, you can reach your arms out without injuring anyone around you. <laughs> We're a nonviolent dance form. <laughs> And it's great if you also have some room to stretch your legs in front. So I'll give you a minute just to shift chairs, give yourself some space. And then whenever um, we're ready, we can just go ahead and put on the music. What we're going to do is just begin seated in your chair. Put your feet right under your knees. And you want to stack your vertebrae. So just picture like a ladder. So you're finding that length in your spine. We'll start with two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And starting with the top of the head, just curl the body forward like you're rounding over a ball. Pull the belly button back and round the spine. And then leading with the chin, reach forward towards me and lift your body up to the ceiling, spreading wide across the collarbone. And then come back to find the vertical spine. And once again, top of the head leads you down, rounding the spine. And again, use your chin, reaching forward, arch the spine in the opposite direction. Lift the chin up to the ceiling, spreading the shoulders wide. Once again, coming back to vertical. Drop the fingertips to the side and lift them out. Let the belly button pull you back. Now it's like you're slouching down, just collapsing in the belly and the chest. When you hit the back of your chair, fall up and over like you're reaching, you're falling into a soft bed, reaching the hands out wide. Then reach the fingertips down for your knees and let that pull you back up off the back of your chair, sitting up tall. Again, opening the hands out wide. Once again, belly button pulls you back, collapsing in the chest, slumping down till you find the back of the chair. Then up and over, falling backwards. Again, reach the fingertips down for the knees. Let that pull you back up off the chair. This time as you open wide, we're going to take a twist, turning around the vertical axis of the spine, looking over your back arm, then reach that arm up over your head, spiraling forward. Reach across the room, stretch the arms till they pull in the sockets. And then again, sitting up tall, opening the hands out wide, taking the twist the other way, turning the body, looking over the back arm. Reach the back arm up over the head, stretching across. Reach for somebody else's hands, pull with the arm. And returning to vertical, reaching the arms out wide. We'll sweep the fingertips down to come up, lifting the hands above the head. Palms come to touch. You're going to arch up and over. This is the half moon pose. You can picture a long C shape from the fingertips down to the hip. Good side stretch. Inhale back to the center. Drop the shoulders down and lift up with the fingers, up and over the other side. Half moon, stretching the side of the body. Returning to the center. Flip the palms away from each other, pressing through the heels of the hands. Flex the wrists, stretch the forearms. Arms come all the way down to the sides and the shoulders roll forward, up to the ears and dropping down in the back. Again, rolling the shoulders forward, up to the ears and down in the back. Once more, forward, up to the ears and descending in the back. Fingertips go down to come up, palms come to touch. Up and over, back to that half moon shape. This time, 
drop the bottom arm. You can reach right there for your chair to support you, or you can reach down the leg of the chair. Extend the top arm up, finding a long line between your hands, a different side stretch, trying to relax the neck. You could look down if it's more comfortable. And then like you're grabbing onto a bar with that top arm, grab something in the space and let that pull you back up Palms come to touch. Up and over the other way, half moon. Drop the bottom arm. Stretching the top arm up. Find that vertical line between the hands. Relaxing the neck and the jaw. Reaching with the top arm, grabbing onto a bar. Let that pull you back up. Palms reach to touch. Once again, flip the palms away from each other, flexing the wrists. Stretch the arms down. Rolling the shoulders in the opposite direction. Up from the back and down in the front. Once again, rolling the shoulders. Big circles. Up from the back, down in the front. Once again, fingertips down to come up. Palms come to touch. Imagine a pool between your feet. You're going to dive into the water. Up and over. You can stop right at your knees and hang there. Or you can hang all the way over. Wherever you are, gently shake your head no and nod yes, making sure the neck is relaxed. Staying bent forward, you're going to lift one arm up to the ceiling. It's a forward fold with a twist. Stretching out the lower back. Let those top fingertips drip back down into the pool. And open up on the other side, reaching the other hand up to the ceiling, stretching the spine. Again, top arm drips back down into the pool. Wherever you are, put your hands on top of your knees. And again, reach with your chin forward, arching the spine, lifting yourself back up to sit tall. We're going to stretch the legs, reaching a leg out in front of you. Bend the knee and wrap the fingertips around the knee to sit up tall. Drop the shoulders down. Exhale, you're going to forward fold, bending the forehead down for your knee. Inhale, reach back into a long spine. Release that leg, stretch everything out, and bring it down on the other side, stretching the leg. Bend the knee, sitting up tall. Drop your shoulders down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, back up tall. Stretching the leg out and bring it down.